Parker, I want Spider-Man. Bring me photos of Spider-Man. <laughs> Are you serious? Where are you going? Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> Get it up. <laughs> you look like you're finna drop some boxes. You look like you're finna drop some boxes off at UPS, man. You look like a milkman. You look like the milkman stash. <laughs> it looked like you're finna drop out some milk. Mr. Wizard, you're fired. Like you, you look like you're a pizza delivery boy. <laughs> Mr. Wizard, you're fired. Oh, wait. No, Mr. Wizard, you're on fire. Get back here. I need you. <laughs> yeah, you want, yeah, you want the episode? You're going to have to pay me double, man. You're going to have to pay me double the money. You're going to have to give me that staff job. <laughs> Welcome, Black, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, big change uh, over here. Where this, you see the thumbnail. Why are we talking about... J. Jonah Jameson this episode. This is specifically, I mentioned this a couple episodes ago. We're going to dedicate an episode specifically for J. Jonah Jameson. And as promised, here we are. Ladies and gentlemen, we're Black. But before we get into this video and this very entertaining video, there are affiliate links down below in the description. Check those out. Make sure they suit you. Make sure you connect with them, all of them. Now, without any more distractions or disruptions, let's get to it. Actually, this video should be, we should get a shout out from Gillette. Maybe uh, they can help me, you know, with this little uh, thing I got going on. You know, maybe they can Gillette, you yeah. know, help a brother out, you know, so. Yeah, get that dead, get that dead caterpillar off your face. Man, look, man looks like he's handing out hot dogs outside the ballpark. <laughs> hot dogs, get your hot dogs. <laughs> Dead cow. Well, be Mac Eagle. There you go. <laughs> I want to start with, first of all, if those of you do not know, J. Jonah Jameson is a character in the Marvel Universe. He is known for being one of the top reporters at the Daily Bugle. Um, if you watch any of the original Spider-Man movies, the one with Tobey Maguire in it, uh, you will know exactly who this guy is, right? Very funny, very demanding, right? And the reason why we a totally to unbiased newsman, a, to a totally unbiased reporter. <laughs> I, I love J. John Jameson, like this this guy, and of course he voices Omni Man. But we'll talk about Omni Man in another episode. Jesus, that that <laughs> that show, but uh. I want to talk about, <laughs> you mentioned a couple episodes ago where uh, <laughs> Green Goblin busts in the uh, Daily Bugle in the first Spider-Man. And he just... Yeah. Like, he bu like he busts into the Daily Bugle while him and, well, uh, Jonah and Peter are talking or whatever. He grabs, J he grabs JJ by the throat, demanding who, it, like, who <laughs> is taking the pictures of Spider-Man. And, and proof that Jay Jonah is a decent human being, he tells him, I, I don't know. I don't know. They just show up in the mail. I don't know who's taking the pictures. He could have easily sold out Peter right there. He is a decent human. He is a decent human being. That is funny. <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. I remember when he put on a Spider-Man costume. I was like, Easter egg? Maybe? Just, or maybe just comedy? I don't know. Remember that where he put um, it up? Um, he wants all of these pictures of Spider-Man because he's just clearly deeply in love with him. He he just he just wants to be he just wants to be Spider-Man. He has a he has like a shrine in his room, <laughs> just a shrine with just a whole bunch of pictures all over the wall. Like one day, one day I'll catch you in the act, Spider-Man. One day, he's a thief. A menace to society. I've watched you from afar. I, I love. Oh my goodness. Oh, uh, what's the he scene? Can't, he can't come to terms with his. He can't come to terms with those feelings, or he can't come. Blah. He can't come to terms with his feelings for him. So he just expresses it as hatred and distrust. Yeah, he's a thief. He. We don't. How? How can we trust this man? How can we trust him? He's a criminal. Despite having no evidence whatsoever. <laughs> There's no photos. I like when uh, in the second one, they were trying to come up with a name of Doc Ock. 
they were like, Dr. Uh, Tentacles. They're like, no, they're like, Dr. Strange. That's a good one, but it's taken. I was like, I had to rewatch that scene. I was like, I missed that as a kid. I totally missed that. They said doc, they, right in front of me, Dr. Strange. I was like, that was a good one, but it's taken. The universes are connected, confirmed. Confirmed 20 years before, 20 years earlier. Exactly. That was that movie was in 2002. So it wasn't like, you know, Doctor Strange was like, it was in 2000. Ain't nobody, the MCU wasn't even a thing, technically. Like, when I say MCU, I mean like Marvel Cinematic Universe, not Marvel, but MCU itself was not a thing in 2002. It was just Marvel. In fact, Marvel, by, for those of you who do not know, side note, Marvel was actually doing bad in movies in the, in the 90s, in the late 90s. They were actually doing really bad in movies, and they were almost bankrupt. But the one, I think the one deal that saved them, you know what, you know what saved the Marvel movies? You know which movie it was? It was Blade. Blade saved. I figured it was Blade. Blade actually made enough money to gain Marvel to re- get back on their feet. So if not for the Blade movie, you can make the argument that the MCU would not be where it is today if not for Blade. Thank you, Wesley Snipes. Okay. Yeah, because Hellraiser and Daredevil weren't pulling it, weren't <laughs> pulling their weight. Like, Marvel was really struggling in the 90s, in the late 90s. They were really struggling. But, and of course, you know, Spider Man, but that wasn't Marvel. That was uh, Sony, right? Wasn't it Sony? The Tobey Maguire Spider Man? Yeah. Yeah, Sony. Yeah. Also, they could also that also those movies came out in like two thousand to two thousand three. Yeah, and I remember. Ooh, I remember uh, in the Spider Man three one. That was to me. That was probably the best J. John Jameson, where like him and Eddie Brock, where he was like <laughs> Eddie Brock had the fake photos. He was like, Patrick Links, get on my building. You're fired. You, you want the job. You want the job. You want the job. Does anybody ask what I want? I do. Shut up. <laughs> I remember that. He is really like he is a really good source of comedic relief. And really it's really is. good to have that, like, and it really goes back to what, like, well, uh J. Jonah Jameson goes back to what Green Goblin said in the first movie. People will hate, people will come to hate you. It's only a matter of time. <laughs> you know what? Pe- people love a hero, but you know what they love more? To watch a hero fail, to fall, to, 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 to die trying. That, like, that is J. Jonah Jameson right there. He wants to see, he wants Spider-Man with his hand in a cookie jar. He wants to see him fail. <laughs> more money for the Daily Bugle. <laughs> I like yeah, him. It's going to get more ad revenue. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's gonna get more ad revenue. You need shock value for that. People send us money. Spider-Man has the greatest superhero of all time. He's got his own uh in the far from home post credit scene. He was a he was like a uh because in the original Spider-Man, he wasn't like on TV per se. Like he was just in an office. That's why I remember. And then, but far from home, he was like a reporter, like reporting live. Like he was like the Daily Bugle, like that guy. Um, I just remember that from the far from home thing. But it, to me, it was really funny when uh, when he was uh, Spider-Man 3, he was like, Parker, Parker, yeah. <laughs> you want to make some money, kid? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How much you want? What she's right, like, get- what she's like, a hundred dollars or something? She charged him hundred dollars for wait, food. Wait, no, no, he. Wait, no, no, this is how the scene goes. Yeah, like he, ta- he asked the kid, "Hey, kid, you want a job? Why would I need a job? Yeah. I'm a kid. <laughs> well, how much for the camera then? A hundred dollars. A hundred dollars. <laughs> All right, here you go. She gives him the camera. He tries to take the picture. Sees there's no film in it. <laughs> Films extra. That's how you. That's how you that, know that. That was that. That was his actual daughter in that scene. I heard J.K. Simmons. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was his daughter. That's amazing. I did not know that. I didn't catch that. I would have never guessed. Um, but that's how you know the movie was made in 2000, bro. 
the fact that they needed film to take a picture, bro, <laughs> to take it, that is like, I'm okay. I remember Kodak cameras. I do remember very clearly. I'm not, you know, not that young, but like, I do remember the transition of like from Kodak cameras until you run out of, you know, I do remember running out of film a little bit. Like those, uh, like those things, like those cameras that you had to like, uh, that weird thing that you had to swipe to get it to work, like that weird little wheel thing at the yes, top of the camera. Yes, yes, yes. I, I know you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the most oddly satisfying thing. Like that was the most <laughs> oddly satisfying thing to me as a kid. Just do, just doing that. Yeah, bro. That was. There were the good. Oh my goodness. I would say good days because you run out. Now you can just. I can take as many. Oh, the only thing is I run out of storage. I can just delete some stuff. Film is you gotta like go and go get some film. And she said film is extra. I remember that. That was funny. Um, I like the um, the dude. There's a dude in there. He's passed now. Uh, the the black dude. His assistant for the Daily Bugle. Um. Oh, the dude that was always on Peter's side. Yes, bro. I I promise you, he knows. He knows because there is a scene in the third part yeah spider-man 3 where he i mentioned this he's uh, J. john james is trying to figure out i wonder who took the pictures and then the black dude's like i heard spider-man was there and then him and peter make this eye contact i'm like he freaking knows something bro he knows i was like there's no way he freaking knows but J. john james and then you're like, right J. go ahead go ahead like my biggest thing was like, how did JJ not figure it out? Like, as, like especially with the quality of pictures that Peter was giving him. How did you get this? You know, I climbed the flagpole. There's a flagpole going all the way up to the Empire State Building. Yes. It didn't make any sense, bro. Him swinging, like, you're not that good, bro. You, you're not that good. And you know what's crazy? How would how would yeah. Peter have taken the pictures of Spider Man? Like I remember, I okay, so I'm pretty sure it was in one of the game, like one of the Spider Man games. But I remember he would basically like set the, like before a crime would happen or before a robbery or something like that, he'd set cameras up all over the place and have them on timers ready to go off. That's a lot of work. What? He's got to make money. Wait, wait, so how would he know a, how would he know a robbery is about to happen? Is that just his senses? Uh, senses, and I think whenever he would be like staking out, staking out a place. Mm. That's crazy. Wow, I didn't know he set up camp. That's that's commitment, bro, Parker. Mm. He got to get some money. That's true. Spider-Man got all the clout, but uh, Peter Parker is broke. <laughs> he get, he got to pay for he got to pay for that dusty apartment with that busted door. You'll get your rent when you fix this thing. <laughs> hey, bro, <laughs> Bully McGuire. Oh my. Goodness, the ultimate meme of the 2010s, Bully McGuire. Like, like that scene, like that scene where he just bargains with JJ, and he's just he took where Peter took a seat in his in jo, in JJ's seat, and <laughs> hey, he's just looking at him like that was funny. When each <laughs> I imagine it was equal parts pride and equal parts being pissed, because I imagine he's like. You are my respect. But on the other hand, it's like, boy, get your off oh, my seat. <laughs> hey, bro, re reenact that scene. Hey, reenact that scene. You be Parker, I'll be Jameson. Act like you just sat down. Or you just took a bite of pepper. I'll be Jameson. You ready? All right. So, you want Parker, the you want the stat? You want the. What? Go ahead, go ahead. All right. You want the stat? You want the shots? I'll take the staff job. Double the money. <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> and I, I like the music in the background. It's like jazz music in the background. It's like yeah. he's just looking at. He's like yeah, they had a James Brown song going in the background. <laughs> it's freaking <like a> reaction. <laughs> like, like I remember in like some of the cartoon shows, they would actually make like uh, JJ. A bad guy, like full on, make him like a sort of super villain character. Like give him like like a sort of mech suit or whatever. Like, yeah, he's he's not a villain. People, I know, I know why. Like, they like do you remember? Like, Go ahead, bro. Yeah, Shark Boy and Lava Girl. You remember that movie? I've heard of it. I've never actually seen it. Uh, dang. Yeah, I, was to, I was about to pull over. I was, I was about to pull an ultimate reference. All right, you at home, do you, you at home, if y'all remember Shark Boy and Lava Girl, y'all remember George Lopez's character, like that giant monitor with like electrical hands coming out. Like they basically, like, I, I don't know why, and I don't know if I'm remembering this wrong, but there was one Spider Man animated series show that did that with James Jonah Jameson like give him basically a giant monitor with like electrical limbs coming out and he was fighting Spider-Man or something yeah that's not really good. I forgot I wasn't gonna um but yeah that was that was funny dang like he doesn't like he but he okay. doesn't work as like a like he doesn't work as like a villain like that. Like he he works as being like that guy, that guy who embodies the public hate of Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Like the people will like like I said at the top of this with the Green Goblin quote: "The people will come to hate you. Just give it time." Like J like JJ is the embodiment of that because yeah you kind of, like yeah in a real world you would probably distrust superheroes. Because all of these super villains are coming out specifically, like, like it's reasonable that JJ would be uh, skeptical of Spider Man because all of these villains are coming out specifically to take out the spider to take out Spider Man. Like, it is reasonable that the public would come to hate him because of that. Yeah, J. Jonah Jameson is not a villain. I know why they would like to do that, but it's like, he's not a villain. He's just, like you just said, he just wants the hero to fail, right? And I understand, like, yes, by definition, that technically makes you a villain. If you want the hero to fail, then you're obviously not, you're anti the villain, you're against the villain. So, I mean, you're against, you're anti-hero, you're against the hero, so you're a villain. Does that make... Does that make a, does that make me a villain if I just want to see, if I'm just used to seeing you fail and I'm encouraging it? Does that make me a villain? I don't think so. It doesn't make you a because you because <laughs> you yourself are not attacking like J. Jonah James is not actually going after Spider Man. That would make him a villain. He's just he's just like a civilian, bro. He's just he's a very a loud civilian. Point. Exactly. He's just a very loud civilian. I mean, I don't, I don't consider him a threat at all. A villain is a threat. J. Jonah James is not a threat. Like, he's no worse than your average guy on Twitter. He's no worse than your average keyboard warrior. <laughs> Jameson, Jameson 6000. <laughs> Playing Call of Duty. No, no, no. You got to get it right. <laughs> you got to get, you got to get it right. Oh, JJ Slayer six nine six nine four twenty four twenty dollar sign dollar sign. <laughs> you got to get that full title in there. What's up with you in these long full titles, Mister Anime yeah, I mean, Wizard? The Mister the great the the great the great hero, Mister Anime Mister Wizard, the great sage equal to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> what a great hero, Mr. Anime Wizard. Yeah, the, yeah, the great hero, Mr. Anime Wizard, the great sage equal to heaven. 
Ain't nobody remembering. All, all but... capital, all capitalized with an exclamation point at the end to really emphasize it. All caps. But that, but that James Jones, but that JJ title I just made, you got to make it sound like a, you got to make it sound like a Fortnite gamer tag. You <laughs> have to make it look. You got to make it sound like that. <laughs> like you get like. You like you see a victory roy you see the victory royale and that's yeah. the first name that comes up. That you gotta do that. You gotta do that with these. J. Jonah Jameson equal to heaven, the great sage. <laughs> J J J J J Poon Slayer 6969 420 dollar sign dollar sign dollar sign exclamation <laughs> point you just gotta make it sound like you gotta make it you, you gotta make it your xbox 360 gamer tag <laughs> oh that's funny you know um in this no way home trailer or in movie he's going to play a very interesting role because he's going to eventually have to have to mention all three Spider-Men. He's the reporter. He's going to have a field day. He's going to have to have a field, bro. Day. He's going to have to at least mention all three of them. If they're all coming in timelines, at least mention all three of them. Like this, like this oh, is wait, my, wait, 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 wait. If okay, uh, my bad. If. Okay, if Parker works for the Daily Bugle, the Tobey Maguire version, but Peter from uh, Tom Holland comes in there, does he know Peter? Does he know that Peter? I don't. I'm confused. I'm. I'm. I have so many questions. So many questions. All right, all right, all right, I'm calling it now. I'm calling it now. This is going to be his reaction the second he realizes there's now three Spider Men. What? I'm calling it now. This is how this is how JJ is going to react the second he finds out there's going to be three Spider Men. Okay. What's that? What? What? There's three of them. <laughs> there's three of them. Parker. Parker. Somebody give me a camera. <laughs> I was not expecting you to take your glasses off. It's a conspiracy. It's a conspiracy. That's all. There's our Spider people. There's two J -J top headlines. Spider Man get top head top headline. Spider Man invade New York. I want that on every bull. I want that on every billboard. Is there two J. Jonah Jamesons in this episode? <clears throat> Beef. You're a menace, Jonah. You're a menace. Let's just do the Spider-Man meme. Let's do the Spider-Man meme, but with J, but with different JJs. I think Parker, hey, all, everyone's got Parker's cigars. doing. He's a Spider-Man's doing. Everybody's got cigars. This is Spider-Man's doing. He is a menace. And now one of them's a 12-year-old child. They're corrupting children. Corrupting children. I am dead. Uh, not really. Not literally. Uh, <laughs> well, I think um, that does the episode. That concludes the episode. This is, there's more questions. J. Jonah Samuelson, the reason why this episode is not six hours long is because Marvel has robbed this man of an opportunity. Uh, let's just be real. I mean, if we're being honest. Hey, he's back now. Exactly. He's back now. He's back. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Before he closes out, before he yep. closes out, there's one, there's one, all right, there's one thing I got to drop about him being revealed. Like, I, I, pop, like, I popped off when he was revealed in uh, uh, whatever, the, whatever the second one was called. Far From um, Home. Far From Home. Mm -hmm. Like I popped off when he was revealed, and immediately I, I immediately I theorized how how the next movie was gonna go. I thought like because of the amount, of, because like a combination of Mysterio saying he was murdered by Peter Parker and the, James and JJ being back, I thought it was going to be something along the lines of 
Peter is going to get a hit taken out on him because of the, all of the public backlash being caused by JJ taught like because of J because of JJ like slandering Spider-Man. I thought some kind of hit or something was going to get taken out on him because of J because of JJ. That, that there's too many theories out there. There's too too many like possibility, and this is Marvel like. Uh, with Craig. This is Marvel like this the, they don't know when to stop expanding. It's like you're confusing the audience so much. I love it, but I hate it. Like I love you, but I they're hate you. In, they're going in a lot of directions. And now with the Doctor Strange and WandaVision stuff, they're gonna start breaking dimensions. Literally. They're gonna literally do and, Yama and style. Could have dimension a half. But yeah. My boy Yami. <laughs> Cutting dimensions. Ladies and gentlemen, Gillette, thank you for watching this video. <laughs> um, <clears throat> or I should say uh, thank you for uh, watching this video. Uh, go subscribe to the channel. Uh, go follow the Daily Bugle on Instagram. Uh, we need more reporters. I'm asking you to come interview me. Come interview me. Yes, we are live, reporting live from the Daily Bugle, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Parker, okay, bring me my files. We are going to, any last remarks from the wizard, the great sage of equalization to heaven ascension. That stash better be gone by the next episode. Otherwise, I'm a real. Otherwise, I'm a really start splitting dimensions. <laughs> like and comment down below. Because I'm. We got this man in 4K. We got this man in 4K. We got this man in 4K. Please, some please whoever <laughs> whoever is a milkman baby. I found your daddy. <laughs> I found your daddy. Whoever a milkman baby, whoever a mailman baby, I found your daddy. I am not the father. <laughs> I, am, I am not whoever's father. <laughs> whoever's boxes from UPS got destroyed, it was because <laughs> this man was on duty. <laughs> oh, boxes got destroyed. I can't tell you how too accurate that was. If your, if your pizza, if your pizza was about fifteen minutes late, uh, he the reason he the reason why. <laughs> I am so sorry about that. I am fathering no children out here. I want to make that very clear. I father no one uh, yet. Uh, I father no one yet. But uh, I, that's the most yellowish light I have ever seen, sir. You're getting on me. That that is the Green Lantern light. The light. Now that, that now this is the light that I use to beat the to beat the uh, Guardians of the Universe. It's yellow. <laughs> watch that! Watch that! Watch the Guardians of the Universe versus Anti Pops. I beat him with a stick. I beat him with the yellow sticky note. <laughs> Oh, that was the most, that's the most heart-wrenching roast, man. Oh, that hit home. <laughs> that's the weakest, on this channel, that is the weakest group I have brought. That's the weakest group of characters. And there was eight of them. That's the weakest, uh, I, I need to do a roast. The Guardians of the Universe are the ultimate fraud. It's actually not Ben 10. It's the Guardians of the Universe. They are the ultimate fraud of this channel. My goodness. Messing up. You, just... get that, huh. you know what? The, you know what? That's gonna be a that's gonna be a later episode. We gonna pull a Ber we're gonna pull a Ber Berlizzi. The characters that we brought. I gotta roast you. That's gonna be one of the. That's gonna be an upcoming episode. That is true. We definitely gotta do that because there's some characters I gotta roast. But we could go on and on. This is just a freebie episode. This, I don't even know what this is, but I love it. Like and comment down below, ladies and gentlemen. Put some pressure 
on that notifications bell. Check out the affiliate links down below. And of course, as always, subscribe to the What If Series YouTube channel for future videos.